Um, nice to meet you. So, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet so you. So tell me what you do. Well, I'm country representative for Mali and Senegal for Tier Fund. So I work with local partners who are responsible for... Well, they, they carry out the development work within their areas, primarily church organisations and Christian NGOs. So we, that's our sort of main focus. But our partners, are, they would carry out sort of uh, water sanitation, public health, wells, uh, literacy, education, food security, that sort of everything, all the sort of development programs you can think of, um, with the small amounts of resources that they get. Yeah. So for us it's a question of trying to tie in good practice, improve, improve their capacity, improve their effectiveness so that then they can hopefully access more funding from different sources because they've got the capacity and the quality in their work and they feel more confident about it. It's also about mobilising the local communities to understand their role in development. So it's not just about a handout, it's about where do they get involved and actually how do they push local governments to get more involved or other people to get more involved in their stuff, which they're already taking ahead. So you've got any examples of where this is, that, that you've, you've managed to achieve this in particular? Uh, well, we're... In, uh, in Burkina Faso, we've got some great food security programs in the north, yeah. in uh, Titao, Waiguya in the north, uh, with a partner called Credo. Yeah. Um, they also have a sort of an integrated health program as well down in the south in Leia, which has water, it has market gardens, it has a, a sort of a, an improved uh, agricultural program. They had a, At the time, they had agroforestry, they had literacy and education. It was a really comprehensive program down in the south. Um, where they were also getting a local community to sort of take steps of, of uh, identifying themselves opportunities and how to improve their own lot. Yeah, I mean, I've, um, I was talking with Nick Dickinson at ILC yesterday about, because um, he's at the moment exploring how do people, when, when organisations like that are trying to have, have technical inquiries about water or sanitation, and I wondered if you had any, any views on, well, how easy is it for people to get technical the technical knowledge at the moment. From a tier fund, well, yeah. uh, from a tier fund perspective, we provide CDs and we've got uh, specialists on hand here in the UK uh, who cover sort of the, there's, there's one chap at the moment who sort of he can provide in, insight to the 20, uh, 35 high intensity countries where we're working. So depending on the sort of the type of need, he can provide a certain steer. But the country reps also have a responsibility to try and draw people specialists to them, like consultants, so we can provide a consultancy process for them. Um, but there's, uh, we've got some stuff online, we've got our own in-house guides. Yes, because I was saying, I was going to say, so how much of that are you able to share widely? Because I'm it's sure all so much, like, All of our stuff is yeah. public information, anything that we do have that's our own resources are, our, are freely available, yeah. essentially. And we tie in with people like the WEDEX and the SOAS is and um, uh, other like the Cranfields and places like that. So we, we do time with some of the institutions, IDS. So yeah. for in, in information, there is a lot of exchange going on. Yeah. Great. Good, good, good to meet you. And you.